Hi everyone, this is Ms. Helms, and by the end of this video, you should be able to apply the learning target, I can investigate and formulate proofs involving the properties of kites and trapezoids. In this first problem, we are asked to solve for the missing measurements of the angles in the kite below. Well, what we learned is that kites are actually made up of two isosceles triangles. So here we have our first isosceles triangle. And again, an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has one pair of congruent lengths, and the base angles are also congruent. We also have a second isosceles triangle here on the right-hand side. So a kite is made up of two isosceles triangles. When we're asked to solve for the measure of angles one and two, let's go ahead and start with angle number one. If we take a look at this small triangle right here, we know one angle measure of this triangle is 39 degrees, and we also know one other angle measure. So based on the properties of kites, we know that the diagonals intersect at a 90 degree angle, or that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. So we know two angles of this small triangle, and what we learned previously is that the sum of the interior angles of a triangle is 180 degrees. So the measure of angle 1 plus 90 plus 39 degrees is equal to 180 degrees. To solve this, we're going to combine our like terms. So the measure of angle 1 plus 129 is equal to 180. Using inverse operations to solve for the measure of angle 1, we're going to subtract 129 from both sides. So the measure of angle 1 is equal to 51 degrees. The next part asks us to solve for the measure of angle 2. So let's go ahead and take a look at the triangle that has angle 2 in it. So, if we go ahead and draw this out, we know one of these angles is a right angle because of the same property that the diagonals are perpendicular to each other. And since an isosceles triangle has base angles that are congruent, if this angle down here is 74 degrees, the other base angle of the isosceles trapezoid is also 74 degrees. So, this angle in this triangle right here is 74 degrees as well. So to solve for measurement of angle 2, we do a similar process as we did for angle 1. We've got a triangle, and we know two of the angles, but we're looking for the third. So the measure of angle 2 plus 90 degrees plus 74 degrees is equal to the sum of the interior angles of a triangle, which is 180. We're going to combine our like terms. So the measure of angle 2 plus 164 is equal to 180. Using inverse operations, we're going to subtract 164 from both sides. So the measure of angle 2 is equal to 16 degrees. Nice work!